For our posterizing edit practice, we're going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to open up the JPEG that I used from the four-on-one exercise. So I'm going to click on that. If it's not open, I could go to my H drive, which you would come down over on this side where your PC is. Mine's in a little different spot today. So H drive, double click on it. And I'm going to go into shooting assignments, daily rituals, and I believe it's this one. But if I'm not sure, I'm going to click over with the more options button and change it to large icons. And this will let me see that, yes, in fact, this is the um, photo that I want. So I'll go ahead and click open for this. Now, just so I don't screw anything up, um, I'm going to right click on my background layer and duplicate this layer. So if anything goes wrong, I've got a backup. OK, um, I also when I'm done with this will not save this as the same thing. I'll change the name on this so that I'm not um, saving over top of this. From here, I'm going to go down to our kind of yin yang black and white Oreo cookie symbol. Click on this, which is my add an adjustment layer, and I'm going to start by adding black and white, which is what we did for your spot coloring. So we're going to click on black and white, and now I've taken all four of these photos, and they are black and white. I'm going to add a second adjustment layer and change the brightness and contrast of this. I want to add some contrast, so I'm going to go ahead and bump this up a bit. And what I'm working on is sort of what we've done with levels in the past, where I'm sort of looking at my blacks, sort of looking at my whites. I don't want everything to be kind of the same gray down here. So I want to bump up that contrast a little bit. I might play with the brightness just to see, is that adding more contrast? Is that helping what I want to go for? OK, so I like it a little brighter. And again, what I'm looking at is what are my whites doing and what are my blacks doing? So look at that section of the picture. Don't worry too much about your grays, but we're trying to add some contrast in there. Once I've set this, I'm going to hold control and click on these three layers. From here, I'm going to right click and merge the layers together. OK, don't choose Merge Visible or Flatten. We just want to merge these three layers. So now my bottom one still has color. This one is black and white and is contrasting. From here, I'm going to go up to my Image menu, go to the Adjustments, and then I'm going to drag down until I see the word Posterize. When I click on this, now I've got the these dark areas these white areas and it kind of simplifies the picture okay so if i unclick preview you can kind of see what i had before and what i have now and i could adjust the levels um you really want to have it as level three or four because if i go to five you'll see i've got a little more detail in there Five actually isn't too bad. It depends on the picture. Sometimes it makes it a little too um, the same as your other pictures. Notice two breaks it down a little too far. Let's see what three does on this one. So that's not too bad. And even six isn't too bad. It's when you start getting into, like, for example, this is nine. The picture almost looks the same as I start to go higher and higher into these levels. So you really want to keep it fairly low, but the idea is that you're breaking the picture down into its simplest colors. So I kind of liked what 5 did, though. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it as this, and I'm going to click OK. But you're going to choose decisions based on what your picture needs. So somewhere between what looks like three to maybe six or seven um, is before it gets too detailed and looks almost identical to the previous picture. So I'm going to click OK. 
And from here, I'm just going to go ahead and save it. So I'm going to do a file, save as, and I would change it as daily rituals, practice edits, posterize.psd, or, um, sorry, that's not what I would save it as. I would save it as your last name, underscore, first name, underscore, posterize. And we're going to leave it initially as a Photoshop document, just in case there's anything we need to change. Click Save, click OK, and then File, Save As, and save it as just a straight JPEG. And click Save. From here, I want to make sure that it's at 8, click OK, and I would turn it in on Google Classroom. 